If we just stick a fuse at the connection of the feeder conductor where it connects to the system um, that's rated for the ampacity of that feeder conductor, that fuse is going to be grossly overrated for the individual conductors out to the solar panels. Hello and welcome to another one of our Ask the Expert series here at Boat Hut 2. I'm Jan Attenstedt and we're talking to Nigel Calder. Hi. Today's question is about MPPT charge controllers. Where do you connect the output from a solar panel MPP charge controller? Can the MPP output be connected directly to the alternator output terminals or other locations? What is recommended? That would be an interesting, interesting setup. Right, we don't want to go to the alternator output terminals. Fundamentally, we want the uh, solar panels to be charging the batteries, so we want to go to the batteries. Somewhere fairly close to the battery, we've probably got a, a positive bus bar and a negative bus bar that we can tie into. Uh, the one thing we do need to make sure is that we put a fuse where we tie into the system. And that fuse has got to be rated based on the ampacity of the conductors to the solar panel. So in a single solar panel installation or where they're series connected, so we just have a single set of conductors coming back to the battery, that's, that's fairly straightforward. But we're seeing lots of installations now, particularly on catamarans, where we have multiple solar panels with their own controllers, and then they come to a common bus bar, and then we have a feed from that bus bar back to the batteries. So, but that feed from the bus bar back to the batteries has got to be larger than the conductors to the individual solar panels because it's carrying the aggregate current. And if we just stick a fuse at the connection of the feeder conductor where it connects to the, to the system, um, that's rated for the ampacity of that feeder conductor is going to be that fuse is going to be grossly overrated for the individual conductors out to the solar panels and we're seeing a number of installations where we have that problem we need to fuse all of those smaller conductors that are going up to the solar panels otherwise we mm -hmm. could melt them down and in fact I, I recently was involved with a boat where they did catch fire and the fuse on the main feeder conductor did nothing to protect the circuit yeah I mean one easy and like safe uh, space saving way to do this is actually to use one of those uh, fuse blocks where you have a bunch of these uh, automotive fuses and then just connect the positive wires to the controllers from there yeah and then one other thing is then from the controller to the solar panel um, you probably don't need a fuse if it's the same size right exactly um, and then we see fuses there where we don't need them because we haven't had a change in conductor size Exactly. So yeah, there's a uh, often misunderstanding on where to place fuse, also how to size them. Actually, we do have a free tool um, available at boathow2.com, our wire size calculator, which is becoming more and more popular now, uh, which helps you to de determine uh, the proper fuse for the wire or the other way around. If you have a fuse, um, what's the minimum wire size you need to put after the fuse when you come from the battery. So check out our wire size calculator and also make sure to check out our courses where we teach you about this in great detail, especially Boat Electrics 101. So that would be a great place to get started. Check it out, boathow2.com and see you soon.